Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we are going to see how to generate a documentation for your Mule application automatically. Fine. So AndyPoint Studio provide a facility from where you can generate your documentation for your application. Even you can host it your documentation into any web server like on Apache Tomcat. You can host it on Windows IIS server. Okay. So we are going to see. So first we are going to see how to generate document. Then we will follow up with you know hosting your documentation into iis server okay so let me do one thing i will go to any point studio i will say file new mule project let's wait it opening a dialog for us once it will open dialog i can give application name i will say doc mule app for runtime i will keep it 3.8 rest of the setting i will keep default i will say finish Okay, so let me drag and drop some HTTP listener component. Fine. Let me drag and drop a payload for a logger component. And finally, I will say payload. Let me configure HTTP component. I will do connector configuration. Click on add. I will say OK. For path, I will say top one. For allow method, I will say post. Logger, I will keep as it is. For payload, I will say document posted. Now, I will have one more flow. I will say HTTP. Again, I will say logger. And finally, I will say set payload. Okay, here I will say doc2. Here I will say get. Now logger I will keep as it is set payload. I will say data fetched. Okay, let me do one thing for. For better documentation, I will give some good name here. Say get HTTP request document. I, did, I think it's a post. I will copy this. I will go here. I will change the name of this flow also. I will paste it here. Instead of post, I will say get fine so you can see the application name has been changed now what i will do so you can see a sign here export studio documentation go at the top of the application say studio documentation okay without unsaved application okay generate studio no 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 just let me save the application first i will say generate studio documentation i will say browse i have a folder already so i will give the folder path D. Okay, I have this part. I will copy. Cancel this. I will give it here. Okay. I will say generate studio documentation. So it will generate a documentation for you. Okay. It has been successfully a generated documentation. Go to the mule documentation. You can see index dot html. Here you can see all the flows which is available in your application. And here all the assets, whatever like bootstrap, whatever it required. So index dot is open the index dot html. You can see the documentation for applying. This is the main flow. Okay. So we have two more flow like uh, post HTTP request document and get HTTP request document. You can click it here. So it will take it there. If you click it, it will take it to get HTTP request. If you want to see the XML code, you can click here. You can see the whole XML code. This is how you can generate a documentation. Suppose if you have one more flow, let's see if you have a one more flow, then what will happen? So I will say configuration. I will say doc one mule app. Okay. I will say finish. I will say HTTP Here I will say get 
HTTP request document one. Okay, I will give path doc four. Or, okay, that's fine. Allow method I will say get. That's it. Now, okay, I have done some mistake. Get control F. You keep HTTP only. I want to change the flow name. Sorry. Now I will drag and drop a logger component. Now finally I will say set payload. Fine. In set payload I will say document first. Save the application. Now try to generate the documentation at same location. Let me copy the location first. Right click. No, no need of right click, just go at the top of application, click on generate studio documentation, paste your path, say generate studio documentation. So let me check what happens. So I think it will generate two HTML, one for one flow, uh, main flow and one for the other flow. See, the document one will have flow, and the first flow is already known as index.html. Open. See, this is your index.html. Let me open the index.html also. Go to so this is your for the, the second flow which we have done a second XML configuration file and this is the index with index.html with the two mule flow fine so now we will see how to host the application to the IS let me close okay. what I will do I will go back I will copy this folder okay I will copy let me go to INET top Go to INET talk, say I will say WW root. I will paste it here. Not no need of WW root. I will paste it here. Say continue. Okay, let me go to my IS server. I will refresh default website. I will say convert to application. You can select any app, application pool. Okay, okay. Let me go to mule flow. I will say browse my index.html. It has browsed the index.html from your web server. Now I want to browse the other. Right? Uh, let me browse. Okay. So this is the. See, even you can see it for tab at the air. Fine. No need to browse the application again again. Just you browse index.html at the top, you can see the tabs for each flows. If you have multiple flows, if you keep on, it will keep on adding the tabs. Okay. If you like my video, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching video.